Hey guys, so uh, today's video is going to be about BeautyCon and basically my experience, um, all the free products that I was able to grab, and the stuff that I bought. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I am going to try to make it as quick as I can, but I don't want to not include anything that I was able to grab because if I was able to grab this much stuff, definitely you guys will be able to grab this much stuff next year too. Um, that's if they keep things kind of going in the same direction that they did this year. So um, let's just start off with the fact of when we got there the first day on Saturday. Um, we were literally the first people there. Um, we left at like two o'clock here on the Central Coast and we got up to LA about 5.15. And as soon as we drive up to the convention center, which was the Los Angeles Convention Center, um, we go into the parking lot and the guy's like, oh yeah, yeah, like you're like the first people here basically and just go straight ahead and you'll be able to find the doors that go into the convention center basically. And we're like, oh, okay, sweet. So we get there and we literally get the first parking spot, which I'm just kind of like, oh, this is like, oh my gosh, do we really get the first parking spot right by the door? Okay, this is kind of cool. So we get, we're like, we gotta go. We gotta go see what's going on. We gotta go into the convention, see how many people are waiting in line already. All right, so we go inside the doors and we head up into the convention center, which is like the front, like, I don't know if you've ever been to a Los Angeles convention center. They have like an area in the front where it's, you have to go, basically, it's like the waiting area. I feel like a walking area. They have like, I don't know, will call, tickets, uh, just a bunch of stuff. And then if you go up the stairs, there that is where the venue is, where they can put all the booths and host whatever they're doing there at the convention center. So we're down in the area, like the lobby, we'll say, and there's no one there. The lights are off. It's 5.30 in the morning. It's kind of dark, and I'm just kind of like, it's, it's kind of scary. We see about maybe two security guards and two girls. And obviously, we don't work there. We are not working the convention. So we're looking for somebody to talk to. I go to try to talk to the girls and David goes and talks to a security guard. We find out that no one's there. We're the first people there and that um, the line is outside of the convention center. So we're just kind of like, okay, sure. So David's like, hey, why don't you get ready in one of the bathrooms? Like no one's gonna bother you. No one's even here. They're not. Get, they're not even gonna pay attention to you or worry about you. And I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh. Like, what if they kick me out? What if I get in trouble? What if I'm not allowed to go to the the event? Like, oh my gosh. Like, no, no, no. Like, what if something happens? But of course, I was like, okay, okay. So I go. I get ready, and it's about seven o'clock when I am pretty much done, and I head outside to David so he can go inside and get ready too, and um. While this is happening, David has gotten moved four different times outside because they don't know where to put people, apparently. And David ends up talking to one of the main girls who was organizing the, um, the, the event somewhat. Like she was in charge of placing people, running it to make sure it was okay and everything. So he talked to her. And in the middle of talking to her, he was like, oh yeah, so where's the hauler bags going to be? And she's like, oh yeah, you guys can pick them up at 9.30 and it's going to be in the building and blah, 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 this. And David's like, what? What do you mean 9.30? And she's like, well, what do you mean? And he's like, well, they sent out an email saying that the hauler bags are going to be able to be sent out at seven or not sent out, picked up at seven o'clock a.m. all the way till 6 p.m. And she's like, what? And he's like, yeah, like, and she's like, let me see the email. So he shows her the email. She takes a screenshot of it. And it's so funny because he has this all on his um, phone. He has like, a, he took pictures of him being the first person in line, waiting out there at 5.30 in the morning. He sent an email to BeautyCon like, yo, what's up? You guys like don't even have your line straight and organized, like what's going on? And so she was like, oh my gosh, like some, the, there's gonna be like a million people who are mad at, us for not getting for not getting out the hauler bags so I think she scrambled and you know she did show us where to go line up she told everybody that was outside starting at like seven o'clock that's when the lineup started to happen so we were able to follow her we didn't get first in line yet um or not yet but um when everybody went over there we got like seventh or eighth which I was like okay I'm fine with that because by the time we get in it's gonna be like we're pretty much first in line so um this is after David moved like four or five no four times so I'm just kind of like, okay, it's okay. It's going to happen. This is like eight o'clock now. 
and we're just waiting and like a couple people come by and they're like oh we have some bad news and then somebody stalks them they're like okay never mind it's okay so I was kind of like thinking mm, that's kind of weird like I know that they said this is the hauler VIP the all access and the executive line so I don't know well, it rolls around like 8.30 and they start letting us in. And they're like, okay, you guys, holler, you guys can come on in. Well, as soon as we get inside the building, I kid you not, there are people already lined up inside. And I'm just like, what the heck? This is not cool, not fair. Like we were there at 5.30 and you're gonna tell me that I was in a line that didn't let us in until after these other people let us in. Like I was, I was not happy, so. Aside from that though, I go and I get the hauler bags or I get my hauler bag because what you had to do was take your wristband that they gave you that had an RFID chip in it and you go to, you go and pick up your bag and they scan it. Um, so I go and get my bag and if you guys watched my last video that I made about the swag bag, that thing was like 25 pounds. So I'm here lugging it down, down the stairs because it was in a different section of the venue and I tell David, okay, go get your bag. So he goes and gets his bag and then he comes down and we're literally like maybe the 100th or 150th person in line and I am not happy. Like, I kid you not, I was so mad. I was like, dude, we got here at 5.30. These people do not have their, their stuff together. Like, this is not fair for the people to who arrived on time or even early to get in line first like that's not fair to us and even Moj who tweeted and talked about um about the early bird gets the worm I'm just like yeah well we were there early we risked not risked but I mean like we stayed up and we drove three hours and granted people flew they you know whatever it is that their story is to get there but we got there to wait in line four hours prior to it opening. So I was mad. So I told David, I was like, look, you need to go talk to that lady or go find somebody because I'm not going to be here and wait 30 to 40 minutes to get inside and waste my time when I got here at 530. That's not fair. Like they are not, they're not organized. This is not fair. So David takes off for about I don't know, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, and he's finding somebody to talk to. And I'm there in line, like pissed off. I'm just kind of like, this is not cool. Like, and I was talking to the girls there and they're just like, yeah, this happened last year. It wasn't organized and stuff. And I was just like, oh, well, I'm gonna see what I can do about it because it's not fair. Um, my David had like emails, he showed the pictures, you know? So he ended up talking to the head of security and the head of security goes, um, I see David out and out of the crowd and here's a line in front of like, the line's going like this, I'm somewhere in the middle, and the security guard goes like this, waves at me, and he goes, you, like, come here, and I'm just like, oh, yes, like, oh my gosh, so I go through the line, and everybody, like, all the girls that were around me, like, what is going on, and we get sent and pushed up to the front of the line, so that was so cool, I felt like, I felt special, I'm like, okay, they, they want me back right here, like, I was gonna be really mad if BeautyCon did that to me, as it's being my first event, but it's just like, I'm not gonna waste my time like why would you do that to a fan who might you know I don't know support your I don't know whatever your your empire so we are in the front of the line watching all the talent all the exhibitors go through and everybody in the back of us are just kind of like who are these people like this is nobody like we don't know who she is we don't know who he is why do they get to get stand and be first in line uh, we weren't even in the line we were just standing there um, right, be, right by the metal detectors, which is kind of funny. So exactly at like, I think it was like 9.35, 9.40, right when they were letting us, all of us go in, or all of the, I should say, all of, what am I trying to say? All of the consumers go in after all of the, like, I don't know, everybody else was going in. They let us in and we were able to go in first and have two full hours to ourselves before general admission got in. And let me tell you, I felt like a princess that just right there just to be able to be pushed to the front of the line and everything so beautycon if you're watching this ever thank you so much to the security people there and making this not a horrible experience for me because that would have been a real damper for me to have to wait 30 minutes after i was there for four hours you know so um but aside from that that's what happened let's get into the hall um oh before i get into the hall um, I am doing a giveaway. So some of the stuff that you see today and the stuff that it was in the swag bag that I posted, I think a day ago, um, I'm gonna be giving away. So the way to enter is you have to be following my Instagram and you have to be following my Facebook account. And also 
just to let you guys know, I did launch my YouTube channel yesterday. I, well, I'm supposed to be posting this today, so it would have been that I did my YouTube channel yesterday. So go over to um, YouTube and go follow me. I'm Mother House of Gabauer. And um, yeah, so you have to be following all three accounts and then either on YouTube or Facebook, whatever one you wanna do, um, comment down below your best friend, like tag your best friend because it's gonna be a double giveaway, a best friends giveaway. So um, let me just make sure I said this again. I'm gonna put it down in the comments or the, the description bar, what you gotta do, or maybe I won't because I kinda want you guys to be watching my videos to get the information on how to get this because I want I want to give it to somebody who's following me and who is going to be with this adventure with me I guess you could say who, who's going to grow with my channel so um, most of the people that watch my videos are on my Facebook so in case for all you guys who are on YouTube and watching my video for the first time and watching me um, I post a lot of videos on Facebook rather than YouTube so or Instagram or wherever else I should say so um but this is for the people that are following me over or not following. We'll see what happens. But um, it's going to be closed. Let's see. We're in August. So September 1st, I'm going to choose a winner and their best friend. And they're going to get some goodies. So I am going to be posting a picture of the goodies tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. Within the, within this week, I'm going to be posting a picture of bag one and bag two. And you guys can go ahead and just try to enter into the whatever it is, the giveaway, and good luck. Okay, so you and your best friend. So it's you who wins. You'll be able to choose the first bag, and then your best friend gets the bag that you don't choose. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's get into this haul, because I know I said this video might be a little bit long, but I do want to show you guys everything that I got. I got some prices down. Well, I got all the prices down, but I don't know. I might not tell you about the prices, because it's going to be a long video. But let's just get into it. Um, so... I did go by OK Beauty, or I don't even know if it's called OK Beauty. I just know it's called OK. It's a Korean brand. This is the bag that they were giving out. Isn't it so cute? It's so shiny. And um, basically what you had to do was you went in, see, like you went in their booth and then um, you, oh, that's what it was. You took a picture because they had two different photo options for you to take. And so you took a picture and then you posted it on your Instagram and then they would give you a bag. So as soon as you posted it, they gave you a bag. Um, so obviously one is mine and one with my husband's. And they gave away the same thing that they gave in the swag bags, which was their glowing moisturizer. And then in, I don't know whose bag was who, but they also gave away, so that was one variant. And they also gave away, which I'm really excited to try, um, was their serum, their illuminating serum. So I was like, that's kind of cool that they have like a bunch of different stuff. But in the swag bag, they only gave away the glowing moisturizer. So that was OK Beauty. Um, each of these retail about $14.99. So you can find them at Ulta. Oh, next, let's do a Sally's next. So at Sally's, Sally's was like one of the longest lines there. Um, it was literally like, all the way around their little block that they had, their their square that they had. Um, so we went on Sunday because Saturday was just crazy and I was like, I am not waiting that line. I'll go in the morning when no one's there. So we went and I think that was like the second place we went when we, um, in the morning on Sunday. So basically what you had to do is you go in, they had about four, six iPads I think out and you got to go through this little app that they had where um, you choose like your color, you talk about your hair, what you're worried about, and then you get to take a picture with the color variant of what you want. So there's like purple, blue, orange, green, you know, all the colors of the rainbow pretty much. And so they gave you this box um, after you signed in or after you showed them like that you checked in and whatever. And they gave you this box and in each box they gave you one of the Ion Color Brilliance things so you can color your hair or bleach it. Let's see. There you go. And um, this retails for about like 10 something, like 11 bucks, I think, I'm pretty sure. And then inside also, they gave you the shampoo by Ion. So this is the Luxe Solutions. And I think this one retails, let's see, what am I, what did I write? And of course, you know me with my, my notes. Yeah, this one was, I think this is $7.99. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then they also gave you the, this and the developer so the bleach kit so this is like six bucks right here you can find these at sally's obviously 
and then they also gave you your color. So I chose purple, and then David chose blue. I think, let me see if I can see. The one thing that I did notice though was in his, they forgot to put the developer and the bleach in it, but they gave him everything else. So I think the girls though, they were working so fast. There was like about four or five girls working at the booth, and it was just crazy. So there was like four or five people outside, four or five people inside. Then they had some other people in different sections because you got to do your hair and stuff. So it was it was just a madhouse. So these are the two colors that we chose. So in case we ever do our hair, purple or blue. But that was Sally's. And once again, these were free items, just stuff that you had to, or just things that you had to do to get the items. Um, let's do... Um, Oh, Queen V. Queen V was giving out bags and shirts. And what else were they giving? They were giving out something else. I forgot what. But Queen V is, they're all about helping women down south, basically. <laughs> Keeping you healthy down there. So here's a shirt and the bag. And then I went somewhere and they gave away cute little, cute little headbands. So I got two. I got one in pink and one in gold. So I think these are going to be in the giveaway too. <laughs> But, um, so that was Queen V, and I think I just had to take a picture of their booth. I'm pretty sure it was just a picture there. They weren't doing anything fun. Oh, you had to follow them. That's what it was. So me and David both followed him, followed them. <laughs> They're probably like wondering like, oh my gosh, here's, here's the wife and here's the husband and here he is following all these beauty brands. They're probably like, you're, you're not here to follow us. You're here to support your wife and get free products probably. So, um, let's see, Curly Chic. Um, this was kind of funny. I was standing in line for, um, I think Ozzy and the girl in front of me is like, Oh, go over there. They're giving away free stuff, free stuff. And I was like, no, no, I'm good. She's like, no, go over there, go over there. And I'm like, okay, fine. So I go over there and I'm like, Oh, hi, can I get something free? Cause they're just handing out the stuff. And then I realized what it was, which was for mixed texture for kids hair and curly chic moisturizer. So I thought these were really, really cool items to get. And they also gave um, a comb. So these retail for about like under five bucks each and obviously the cute little comb. So there's that. I didn't even do anything. Did I follow them? I think I followed them possibly. I, I feel like it was so fast because I, I got ushered into going over there um, to just go get the item. So anyways, let's see. So next up, oh yeah, so this is not your mother's. So now your mother just gave this out, and I think this is also not your mother's. Okay, so not your mother's was giving out this bag if you bought something from them, or you can buy it for five bucks. So this came in the bag, and then I did buy something from them. I bought, let's see, I bought their, this was being featured there. I, I want to say it was not featured, like it was not promoted maybe it was featured I don't know it was it was like new the, what am I thinking okay whatever I'm trying to say I think you guys know what I'm trying to say but this was not out at the stores yet so they were selling this for five bucks so I was like oh my gosh why not and it smells so so good like let me tell you yeah it's like oh I don't know it just makes your hair smell so so good it's like a glisten up so like a high gloss top coat I think you already read that so this was five bucks I'm not too sure how it's gonna how much it's gonna retail later on in the stores, but I basically bought this so I could get the bag because I'm like, why am I gonna pay five bucks for the bag if I can just get one of this and get the bag too? So um, I bought two, one for me, oh, well, two for me, <laughs> and because um, I really wanted the bags. And then this is what came inside, which was a cute little like um, they gave a little hair clip, a little hair tie, a pin. Pin and there's stickers in here and then I think there is like one little mask thingy so check out not your mother's I'm pretty sure there's like about I think it's a hair stuff yeah see this so here's the samples so that was in that bag in that booth and I don't really think you had to do anything to get the stuff besides buy Maybe you had to like follow them. You might have to follow them. I didn't see any, I don't remember seeing any photo, photo thing. So that was not your mother's. Then we went somewhere along the lines, oh, to Nature. Nature? Nature? 
I can't say this word for the life of me. Nature. It's like nature, but it's nature. Nature. And there we did a picture of that. They had the va va boom picture with the fans, so they gave they gave me one of the fans, which was really cool. Um, so we did we took a picture there. We posted it on um, Instagram. We tagged them, and then they gave away um, they gave away this packet and this fan. So I want to see what this fan looks like. It's kind of pretty. It has like it's kind of pink. I think it matches me right now. <laughs> Oh, cute. Oh, I gotta take off the little. You're, I know you're probably not interested in what it showed, <laughs> but whatever. It does match me. But um, so that was one of the things that they gave away. And then they gave away, like I said. And these people have really, really, really cute face masks. These people, I should say this brand, sorry. But um, they gave away four different face masks. So here's one. Oops, there we go. And there's that one, and they gave this one, this, this is face creams, and then these ones. These ones I'm so excited to try. They look really cute. Mermaid's Remedy, like how cute is that? And they're like in a little cute like package. So these each retail for about like four bucks. I think the larger ones are four dollars, and then these are like two bucks. So that's not bad for some face masks. So I've never heard of them before. Um, I'm not too sure where you can find them. I think I just looked online. But um, that was them. And you had to do a photo op. Then we went to, let's see what else I have in here. So I went to Sunday Rain on Sunday, I believe it is. And so you had to follow them. And I think, I think you just had to follow them. And so there was one more thing that we did. I don't know. There was one more thing that we had to do. And they gave us their scrub. So this body scrub, oh my gosh, it's, it's a Cy Berry, okay? No, a sigh. It's a sigh, right? A sigh berry. It, it, it smells so heavenly. I'm just kind of like, oh, I want to bathe in this all day. Oh, can you see that, guys? I'm sorry. I'm a little off center. But oh, I got four because my husband did it too. And obviously, he's not going to. Well, he, he kind of does like stuff like this. But this stuff smells. Yeah. Oh, I can, I can smell it even through the, the little foil and it smells so good, but it's a body scrub. So they were giving this one out and the watermelon and I really, really like this one. So I asked if I can double up on this and she's like, yeah, go ahead. Why not? So I was like, okay, sweet. Uh, and luckily, <laughs> even though I'm going to give it away in the giveaway, they gave out the watermelon ones and the swag bag. So that one you just had to follow. There wasn't really a photo booth there either. So, um, then we went to kiss somewhere in between that and I think at KISS, oh yeah, at KISS they had a wheel that you had to spin. So I span, I span, I spun it. And then I think I won the co-wash. So this is the Argan co-wash. So there's that one. And then my husband won the shampoo. And then they were also, they handed us, they handed us both two of these, which is the crimson, I don't even know. It's supposed to color your hair, semi-permanent. Um, not too sure how these work, but that's kind of cool. So that was a, a spinning one. So that was a game. I don't, I'm not too sure if they had a photo booth. I just wanted to do the game. So that was that bad. Let's go into... Okay, so the best thing that I won on a game, which was one of those little wheels that you spun, I went there twice. The funny thing about that is like, I went there on Saturday and me and David were like, okay, let's try this place. It's called New Skin. Um, let's see if I have, yeah. So if you can see that name. Oh, of course the little doodads in the front. There you go. You can see that name that's called New Skin, the glow up. Um, <laughs> so we go there on Saturday, like, it was like literally the first one of the first booths because it was all the way in the corner and we wanted to, we wanted to walk around and see where everything was and then we started off in the corner um not that you know what corner I'm talking about but in one of the corners and I'm just kind of like oh let's go here that looks great fun it's a it's a game I want to spin a wheel you know like I want to I want to see if I can win so um we're in line and there's like about four girls in front of us and the girl like maybe number two spun the wheel and she won and she won this item and I was like oh I want to win it I like I really really want to win it like oh my gosh that would be so cool if I won the item I don't even know what it is I just want to win so <laughs> we go in 
and it's our turn. And I was like, so what, what do we have to do? And the girl explains, okay, spin the wheel, see what you get, go through the booth, take a picture, get glitter on you. And like, okay, these girls were so cute. There was about like seven or eight girls working in this tiny little booth and, or maybe more, but they had like a cute little, like, um, four vanities, like back to back. So two on this side, two on this side, or maybe it was three on this side, three, three on this side. But either way, there was two and two, we'll say, and um, they're putting glitter on, and they had glitter on their cheekbones and, like, on the side right here, just really, really cute, very, like, fairy-like, and I'm just like, oh, how cute. You guys look so great. Like, okay, so I spin the wheel, and it went... I didn't win the item. I won, I won a cute little sample thing. Well, not sample, but I won like one of the eye creams. Um, I'll show you what I won. So I won one of these. David spin the wheel and he won one of these too. So this is the Lumi Eyes or Lumi Spa Ideal Eyes. And this retails, okay, this retails for about 40 bucks on Amazon, I think it was, or um, MSRP. So it's not a little sample, but it's, you know, it's smaller than what is in the bag, basically. So I was just like, oh, shucks. And so we go through um, the, th the thing and the girl's like, do you want glitter? And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? I'm, I'm here, let's be festive. So I just, I thought they were gonna put glitter on my cheekbones, right? So <sighs> the girl's like, do you trust me? She's like, can I, can I just like, you know, have fun? And I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead, put whatever, whatever you want right here. And so she's like, okay, close your eyes. So I close my eyes and I'm getting ready to just like, and she touches my eyeball, or not my eyeball, but my eyelid, and I'm just like, and I kind of go like, I'm like, oh shoot, she's putting something on my eyelids, like, no, like, okay, well, she's already going, you know, to town on my left eye, I better let her do it on my right eye, so she does it on my right eye, I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, here we go, and she doesn't put any glitter really right here, and I'm just kind of like, man, like, what the heck, you guys all have pretty glitter on your cheekbones, why are you putting glitter on my eyes? Okay, I kid you not, out of all the colors she chooses, she she chooses pink. And I don't know if you know me, but I'm not really a fan to wear pink. I don't like to wear, um, on my face at least. I don't like, unless it's my lips, I don't like wearing pink at all. Like, and it was like a, I don't even know, like a, like a, like a very hot pink color and there was silver and everything. And I'm just kind of like, no. So the whole day I'm telling David, why did I let her do this? And it gets worse half the day the glitter starts going in my eye and I'm just kind of like why did I let her put glitter in my eye like oh my gosh but let me tell you every single person and all the booths that I went to were like oh your eyes are so pretty like oh my god I love all the glitter and I'm just like go to new skin they can do it for you like I did not do this like my eye is killing me I was literally like tearing up halfway through the day like it was just really bad but everybody loved my makeup but or loved my makeup look even though I didn't do it so I sent so many people over to new skin and I was just kind of like Ugh, whatever like I am I'm just so mad at the girl putting it on my eyelids and everything but I was like no no it's okay I'm gonna I'm gonna play it cool and you know, it was a good day. Um, halfway through, like, I mean, at the very end, like maybe about two o'clock, my eyes started to clear up and everything was okay, but it was still kind of like irritating. So, um, word of advice, don't go to a convention and let somebody put glitter on you unless they know exactly what they're doing or you know what they're doing because they're going to go to town and they're going to put glitter in places that you don't want them to put glitter because, oh my gosh, it, it bugged me the whole day. But other than that, so that was Saturday. The next day when we were at Sally's, that was like stop number two on Sunday, um, the girl in front of us was like, yeah, yeah, go back to New Skin. They're trying to give out all this stuff and blah, blah, this. And I'm just like, oh, I was just I'm like, uh, I don't really want to go there. Like I am trying to stay away from them. They put so much glitter on my face. She's like, no, go back, just go back. And I'm just kind of like, okay, you talked me into it. So me and David go and we walk over there and we're like, hey, we're back. And the same girl that was the one who was spinning the wheel was like, oh, you're back. And I was she's like, how about some more glitter? And I'm like, no, like, <laughs> no. But I sent you guys a lot of people, you know? So um, it's my, I'm the one who go, has to go first and I spin the wheel and I'm just like praying. I'm like, come on, please. I really, really, really want to win one of these things. I really, really want to win it. And what happens? I like turn and I look and all of a sudden the wheel comes to a halt. And guess what? I probably screamed really, really loud, but I won the thing. I don't even know what it was, but I won it. And I was like, yes, like, oh my God, I won the thing, I won the thing. And David's like, oh, yay, babe, I'm so happy and proud for you. And he, he spins the wheel and obviously he almost like, I don't know, like I feel like their wheel is kind of like a little off, but he didn't win, but he got one of these two. So um, let me just show you what I got. 
and this item retails for about like 180 on Amazon and then I think MSRP is like over $200 but it is the new skin uh, Lumi Spa and it basically is a cleanser so you can see like the brush head is here and then they gave me the one for the eye, which was really, really cool. This one retails for about $100 with one of these together. So I'm, I'm gonna assume that's like 60 bucks maybe, possibly, or it might be a deal and it might be 50, or no, no, it'd probably be like 70 or something. But so that's that. And then the girl was so nice to give me one of their normal combo um, face wash. So this was my big win. This was like over, I want to say like over $300 that I won in one little spin and I was just like I was so grateful for the rest of the day and I was like you know that's what I get for for sending so many people towards your way because of the glitter that you put in my eye but <laughs> but that was that was probably one of my highlights of the day just to I don't know I never win anything like I don't know you go to the carnivals I don't win and it's just like to be able to spin will and win I was so happy and ecstatic so that was that and um, they gave me like the pamphlet and everything. So I got I got a bunch of these little the eye care ones. So that was that booth. And that was fun. So if they're there next year, I definitely say go, especially since it's for free. Um I did read some reviews online and like I guess like the charger doesn't work sometimes or like it dies quickly. So I'm not too sure. We'll have to see what happens. I'll tell you. Maybe I'll let you know how my skincare routine goes. But um the fact that it was free. I'm, I'm happy so that was that um I also went to the other fun booth that I went to was candid nothing fun for them it's just that I didn't know that they were there but I'm so glad that they were because they have been sending me emails prior to this event and um I don't know if you guys know but I want to get my teeth straightened I did have braces back in like seven years ago and I went to Western Dental and they kind of messed up my teeth and so now my teeth are getting crooked again and I really want to get um Invisalign retainers or some kind something to do it. So Candid was there and um, They gave me a pamphlet. I did the 30-minute procedure and I got a free bag of goodies, which I, Let's be honest. I probably did it because I wanted the bag because you know me. I love ir iridescent stuff anything that's holographic so um, But in the bag they gave out a cool bamboo toothbrush Which they made me use because they're like here. We're gonna we're gonna examine your mouth. So go brush your teeth so um, it came with a twice toothpaste so there's the night one and I think the day one. So they're both teeth whitening ones. And then they gave us mints, which was really cute, and gum. And then um, they only gave us one of these in the bag and that means David got two for just going and talking to them. So this is a teeth whitener. So um, they basically do Invisalign, like Invisalign retainers, kind of like that, but it's called Candid. And then they also do teeth whitening while you straighten your teeth, which I thought was really cool. So hopefully within the next six, seven months, a year, me and David can both get our teeth straightened, which is really cool. So I was really happy to visit their booth and talk to the girls and hopefully set this up and get this going. So who knows, maybe I'll have sturdy teeth within the next year. <laughs> but that was Candid. And then let's see what else is in here. Ooh, so like I was saying, like at some of the booths, they did um, photo options, photo opportunities. What I don't know how to say it. Photo, photo things, and they actually gave you photos. So me and David <laughs> went to. I know I posted this this photo. So we went to Too Faced, and then they did print it out for us. Um, so here's mine. I did post this on Instagram, and then David was able to do one too. So he looked cute. So it's just funny. Like there was so many girls there and then there's my husband and um in the morning the lady was trying to call out like, Hey, any um all access or executive um packages, like anybody who's here for those packages and nobody could hear her. So David, being the man that he was, yells out and it echoed where we were standing and it, like all the girls were like, Oh, and they're like over here and like one little girl and all the girls were laughing and I was like this is why you're here but just seeing this picture just reminds me of, he's just having fun with me <laughs> so we did do another photo at the kiss color oh we did do a, a kiss okay so um what I showed you earlier was the argan argan oil like this stuff and then this they did do a photo option I forgot about that so this is why you have photos <laughs> 
So they did this cute little with the umbrellas and with, I think they did have fans too and like they had a boa or something. So that was that one. And then we went to Viol Violet Voss. So that was kind of cool. They had this cute little, um, I don't know, the, they were, there was lights and they were flashing. So it doesn't really show cool on the picture. Like I felt like they should have done something in the backdrop behind me and put something else there, but the little lights work really, really cool. And they were the ones who made out these little plastic things. So luckily, um, we did three photos at Violet Voss. Here's another fun one that were just like, yeah. But then I was like, David, we're not like the same height. I want you in the front. So we, the next day we went back on Sunday and did this photo. So at Violet Voss, let me see if I can find out, find what, um, let me see if I can find what they were doing. Oh yeah, so that was in the makeup bag. Violet Voss, um, if you follow them, they were giving out free makeup, like just like s simple stuff. Um, I think there was like a gloss, there was um, possibly eyeshadows, possibly something else, but I chose their glitters because I love glitters. So um, <laughs> consider the fact that I got glittered on Saturday, but these are the two glitters that I got. So purple and blue. I don't know the names. The names are probably on the front. Let's see. So this one's Ho Hollow Night, and then this one's Electric Rave. So Electric Rave is blue, and Hollow Nights is purple. So I thought that was really cool. So obviously me and David both followed them, and I was able to get um, two. And let's see if I can open this up to show you. Oh, I wanted to make this. I wanted to keep the box because the box is cute. Oh, well. too late. So that's what it looks like. So that's really, really cute. Um, so that was at Violet Voss. And then let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, we went to Target. Um, Target had a really, really big booth. And there were so many fun people there. The guys that were giving out the bags were really, really sweet. So basically you go in line. And did they have, they, I'm sure they had a photo option, but I don't think we did it. Um, but they were scanning your wristband or your, um, your chip. And then they asked you what was your um, sign. And then they gave you the bag. So the bags though were all the same, but they were just giving out little like pamphlets about your sign or whatever. So, um, but in the bag was masks. So you got two masks. And then you also got a little matte primer from Wet n Wild. And then you also got the Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray, which I'm kind of excited to try because I used to wear Milani back in like when I was 18 and they're coming back and they're making a comeback. So I'm kind of excited to try that. And then Honest Beauty gave out a color pencil. I think this is like a lip crayon. Yeah, it's a lip crayon, not a color pencil, sorry. So and that is in the color mix packaging. No, that's not the color. <laughs> Um, oh, sheer. It's in Bordeaux. Sheer, Bo sheer, Bo oh my gosh. <laughs> sheer Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I can't say it. And then Kristen S. I've never heard of her before, but this is her, I think like a little sample of her shampoo. Kristen S. So, and that's in both bags. Um, nothing, it wasn't different. And he's January and I'm May. So I'm pretty sure all the bags and they weren't exact. They were just all together. So that was Target. And then let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, we got some samples like perfume samples and potpourri, pot, pot, potpourri, potpourri. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's potpourri and they gave the pink citrus one, which I thought was really, really cute of them. I forgot what, I feel like I didn't, I really don't remember their booth. So that, that's just, that's just what happened. And then we went to, um, Azaro Wanted Girl. I think they're, this is a new, new perfume. I'm pretty sure because they have Wanted, but they don't have Wanted Girl yet at Ulta. But at their booth, basically what you had to do was it was in a little circle because um, that's what they were doing. They just had their little booth in a circle. And you went around the circle. You basically got your sample. You talked to the girl. You did a video or a picture with their, their system. And then you post it or you keep it, whatever, and then you go around the other way and you roll um, these big dice. There were these huge dice, and you wanted it land on um, the words I am on one of the dice, and then the other one, 
the most wanted because that's what it is the most wanted girl so when you won if you won and you were able to roll the dice to i am the most wanted girl uh you would get a tote bag obviously i did not win <laughs> but the t the dice were fun and david was having fun trying to try to win there so that was that and then muggler i, I don't even remember what happened at the booth at angel angel muggler i feel like i don't remember that that just goes to show you where i think i just got a sample <laughs> <laughs> and um maybe they were doing something fun i don't know okay so that that was that and let's see what else is in here oh these bags are from eco eco coco i heart eco oh i don't even know i thought it was just eco style so oh eco company maybe so this is what was given in the bags just a little sample um, and they also gave this one out in the other bag that I had. So those were the two variants that we got. And then let's see what else. So I got a, um, cake. Where was cake? Cake. I feel like that may have been at Target. I don't know. So here's a cake sample. So they're giving those out. Uh, coats was giving out or cots. Coats? It might be coats. They're a little sunscreen primer. And I think I felt like I just walked there and talked to them and then they were able to just give me a little sample. So I got two. Um, Coco and Eve. I feel like this was at Target or Ulta, one of them. So here's another sample that we got. It's a deep conditioning treatment. So I got two of those. And then Bioderma. So, um, oh, that was the second booth that I went to on, um, or the third booth. One of the, one in the very beginning, I needed uh, makeup wipes for my face. And, oh, that was the other thing, too. The girl who put glitter on my face, I felt her get out a makeup wipe, but I heard the crinkle of the bag, and then she's wiping my face right here. And I'm just like, no, don't touch my makeup. Like, no, no, don't wipe it off with a makeup wipe. And so she ends up wiping off my makeup, and she tries to fix it with whatever product she has, which was like a powder. And I mean, I'm not trying to knock this girl. She was so sweet, but it was just like the experience and then getting to go the next day and winning. That was, it was just funny. So <laughs> she tries to fix it and we leave and like throughout the day and I'm just like, David, I can't show my nose because my nose is like a different color than my face because my face is darker or I don't know. Like I felt like it was like red or something from irritation from her wiping and stuff. And um, so we go to Dosa Colors and I'm like, I see the girl, the first girl, I'm like, please, can you color match me? And can you put it right here? And she looks at me, she goes, oh, you're missing some makeup. And I'm like, yeah, the girl who put the glitter on my face messed up my makeup right now. And she's like, oh yeah, definitely. So she was able to color match me. And what they did for Dosa Colors, which was, um, I'm sorry, I'm like going in between things, but what they did was you basically go get color matched by one of the girls and then they color match you. And then they gave you a cute little My Hue card and they circled what you were so I was 119 David was 119 too but I think honestly she was just trying to make it cute so that's why she put hearts on it so we both got it and then they gave you a ping pong ball by the or, or well in the booth itself so was the colors and then on the side was like the, another oh I can't talk on the side was another two people who were standing by this little like um I want to say it's like Plinko is that the name of the game? Uh, whatever it is, you drop the little ping pong ball or chip and then it goes down and it hits all the bunch of little pegs and then you try to get it into the middle slot, that's like the winner. And then obviously they have like other slots. And so um, whatever slot you get, you get a special thing. So I got 25% off and David got 10% off. So that was kind of cool for Dose of Colors. Um, so that was that, but so Bioderma though. So I buy their um, makeup, wipes and it's seven bucks and they were able to give me a couple samples so that was that and um, which I'm not too sure if I like them but then again I don't know if I do like them because my face was literally like irritated from the glitter that I had on from um from the girl that put the glitter on my face I feel like that was like very traumatizing for me on Saturday but I try to I try to get through it so I don't know if I like Bioderma's um makeup wipe so I need to wait till the irritation on my skin and the swellingness goes down because my eyes were a little bit swollen and red so we'll see I don't know so that was that bad um oh yeah so at Ulta they're giving away these bags um but in order to get this bag you had to buy 
I think it was like $25, $25 worth of product. And so basically through the booth, they were promoting their new lines that Alta is going to be carrying. And so, um, I keep saying and so, and so, huh? I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so we get there and they're like, you need to buy $25 worth of product. Then you get one of the bags and, um, just look through all the stuff. So they had like six different lines that Alta is going to be featuring. And if you, if you didn't watch my other video, you'll also, if you haven't watched my other video, um, Alta was a huge sponsor of BeautyCon. They had their own stage. They, um, were giving out so much stuff in a swag bag. They were just handing out stuff like crazy. So in this bag, um, they gave out the moon and I feel like there's different variants of this bag, but I got in both bags. It was the same thing. So I'm not gonna, I'm just like, whatever. So, um, Kendall Jenner came out with her moon teeth whitening thing. And now I don't know if it was her herself who came out with this or if moon reached out to her to collab and do something with her. So I don't know. I'd have to research it. I'm not, a uh, is this, I'm not a Kendall Jenner fan. Uh, I think she's pretty, but I, I don't really follow her. So she gave her, her brand gave out these two. And then they also gave out, um, in the Ulta bag, the Zoeva eyeshadow fix matte longwear. So I think this is the eyeshadow primer. Um, Ariana Grande's Thank You Next perfume sample. Ofra Pillow Talk sample for the highlighter, which is really, really, really pretty. Um, there is the color mask, chocolate by Casey Professionals. So I think this is just like to help your hair color. So it's like a treatment. And then Kanuka Honey, which is a bar. So just a bar of soap with CBD oil in it. So that's what Ulta gave out. And I think there is also, oh yeah, so uh, another perfume sample and then a 20% off coupon code. So that was at Ulta. And then also, oh, that was the other thing. So if you bought $50 worth of stuff at Ulta, they gave you a coupon to get $10 off. And so that was kind of cool that I was able to do that. I bought $50 worth of product online, showed them, got $10 off. Oh, but I did want to do, um, I'm sorry, my nose is a little, uh, um, excuse me. Um, I did want to do, what was it? Like for my, because I am a part of the Ulta Rewards program, so in my program, I had to buy $50 worth of stuff, so I had to pay like $50 towards my credit line or whatever, and I was able to get 350 extra bonus points, so I did that, got some stuff from Ulta, um, bought some makeup wipes that I do like, and was able to get 350 points added onto my rewards card and get the stuff that they wanted to give me. They gave me two bags because I spent over 50 and my husband's like, well, since I have a wristband and this is my wife and she's ordering multiple things, can you give us two of them? And the girl's like, she's like, well, I really like you guys and you're really nice to me. So I'll go ahead and do it, but don't tell anybody. So I, I don't know if she did that to anybody else. I'm pretty sure she was being nice to everybody because everybody there was happy, but Whoever you are, thank you so much for being nice and giving us extra products. So that was Ulta. Um, let's see, Glossier. Oh my gosh, everybody was excited for Glossier. And I, or Glossier, Glossier. It might be Glossier, Glossier. I feel like I wanna be French and say Glossier. But um, I think it's Glossier. But <laughs> they were giving out two different, two different items each day so if you went on Saturday you got one package if you went on Sunday you got the other package so obviously me and David were both there and we were able to get two of each um, this was day one if you want to see and in day one they gave away their color slide um, eye pencil so one was in purple I think and one was in red so uh, or brown I don't know. One's Adult Swim and one is Disaster Class, if you can see right there on the bottom. And then they gave away their sharpener, which I thought was really, really cute. And then, let's see. Then they gave away their rosebalm.com. And I, it, ooh, in their line, they just had like, they didn't do anything except give away free products. And these are all full size. Like most of these products that I'm showing you right now are all full size products besides the samples that I say are samples. 
So there is going to be a value of everything together. And I'll tell you that at the end. But, um, so the girl, like in the Glossier booth, it was just like a square booth that was pretty much just a white box, <laughs> really huge white box that you walked around and, um, they scanned your wristband because they didn't want to give out more than one of these. Cause this is like the Glossier. Let's just see how much, um, let's see this. So the sharpener was $4. The Rose Bomb is 12. These two are 15. So this already is like about a 30, $40 dollar bag so they didn't want to give it away more than one which makes sense so they were scanning your wristband and then in day two they gave you um their lip the vanillic lip high shine lacquer one is blow up one is bank you can see that right there um these retail for about 16 dollars each and then they gave away their lip star glistening eye glow Let's see if I can show you. There you go. So, yeah. Um, the girl that was standing in line, what I was trying to say before was she was handing out, like, she was giving us little samples of the balm. And so I'm really excited to get the balm that they gave. And then there's a cute little sticker inside. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so that was Glossier or Glossier. Correct me, okay? Tell me in the comments below if I'm saying it wrong. I feel like I am. Maybe I can just pretend I'm saying it with an accent. Sorry. <laughs> American accent, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. What's next? Ooh, Palmer's. So in Palmer's, they were giving away this cute little bag. And I feel like, I feel like you just had to follow them. I don't remember. I don't, I didn't take any pictures there. So here's Palmer's. That's their bag. And they just gave away so many samples. Like of their coconut line, their coconut oil line. Here's that one, that one, and then here's this coconut line. And then they're getting away from their natural fusions. So this is pretty good, pretty good sample stuff. So that was Palmer's. I feel like I just had to go up to the booth and just be like, hi, I'm here to get your free samples. <laughs> um, let's see, next up, we did go to Wen. Wen does a lot of face masks, so I think we had to just follow their Instagram. That's right, the girl just like came up to us like, hey, do you wanna follow our Instagram? I'll give you some free masks. And so me and David were like, sure, why not? So she gave us two masks, but um, so basically got four different ones because she knew that we were together. And then that was Wen. Um, ooh, this place I really wanted to go to. It's really, really cute. It's a Korean brand called, um, I wanna say it's, Haru Haru, Haru Haru, Haru Haru, and it's Wonder. And they were giving away, like, I think they did the, um, so you go through the line, and then you can either purchase your items if you want to, and I did purchase one thing from them, I'll show you in a minute. And then um, you went through the line, you look at their items, buy something, and then the girls saw if you followed their Instagram, or if you took a picture. And then they had something on their little wall that you put your hand into, and you like you select one thing and there was like a, there was three different colors that you get and each color meant you got something different so me and David both chose the main color which was um, the m number one choice which was a mask and then a little sample of their wonder which is what I bought because it smells so good it's the wonder honey green aqua balm cream so that was how to and then the thing that I got from them that I did buy in this little box and it's a little coffee cup it's like so cute and I asked oh I did meet the owner and he's a sweet sweet gentleman and I was like oh I was like so why a coffee cup and he's like oh and <laughs> he's like everybody in Korea drinks coffee that was that was his accent <laughs> and he was just the sweet sweet sweetest man so if you're watching this video ever or if somebody you know watches this video ever you were so nice to us um, I want to open this. Let's see if I can open it. I just don't want to. Okay, let me show you. It's the cutest thing ever. And I believe this was like 20 bucks. But look at this. It's a coffee cup. And it has cream in it. It's so cute. This is part of their Wonder line. So let me see if I can open it. Yeah, it's just the cutest thing. Oh, it's kind of. 
Oh, no, it's shut. It's, that's good. They have it also sealed right here. So not only is it sealed on the side, they have that sealed. So whatever. But it smells really, really good. So that was Haru Haru. And let's see, that was that one. Then we have, we went to Lap Coast. I forgot what we did at Lap Coast. Was, I feel like they were just giving out bags because me and David were both able to get one and it was the exact same thing in both of these, which was two masks. And then they gave away their, um, ooh, their red collagen serum. And then their cleansing gel, face cleansing gel, so. These are just samples. These are not samples. But that was lactose, and I think I'm seeing that right. I feel like I'm pronouncing so many brands wrong. I'm sorry if I am. I'm not trying to offend anybody, I promise. Um, let's see, Soapbox. I feel, I don't remember going by Soapbox, but a lot of people were also just like, when you walk by the booth, they were just handing out samples. So maybe, I, I don't know what they were doing there, but they gave us a really big sample. This feels like a lot of product. It's 1.75 ounces. So this is their deep conditioner. And then uh, VDL was giving, they just handed us a little pamphlet with a little sample of their primer. So that was just handed out to us. And then let's see. Okay, so for this place, I want to say that I got this at Face Story because I know I span the little will that they had there and you spin the will and then whatever it lands on, they gave away stuff. So I looked on their site and this one, I know for sure all these products in here are on their site except for a couple of them, but they carry this brand. I couldn't find if they carry this brand, but I feel like that they gave me this because me and David both spun and I can't find anything else in the bags. So I'm pretty sure that Face Story gave us this, and plus it's a Korean, it's Korean, so maybe it's not featured yet, but, um, so there's this one, the Pure Hills Pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam, which I'm super excited to try. Um, if you guys don't know already, um, Korean, Korean skincare is like one of the best skincare routines that you can have in your life. Like, they are really, really good at the skincare game. I feel like they're probably leading the world in skincare care. <laughs> but um so that's that and then I want to say this is Sor Sorosi Sorosi I don't know how to say it correctly but in this little baggie they gave out um vital toning serum and then the calming essence so I don't know exactly what that is but those two were in there and they also gave out this cute little um, sleeping mask. It's a little sample size. And then these two little morning drizzle calming cream and water cream. So let's see if I can hold this right so you guys can see it. Aren't these the cutest little samples? <laughs> so that's going to be really, really fun to try out. Okay, so so far what I've showed you I got for free and this is two days worth of stuff and this is not all day like we were there from in the morning um so obviously from 9 30 and David went down to take a nap at one I joined him at like 1 30 we woke back up at four and went from four till the end on day one and then day two we just went from 9 30 a.m to I want to say 12 30 is when we ended because we had to go somewhere else um, we went to a toy store, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was, yeah, so that was like only like, what, seven hours? Let's see, whatever, whatever it is, you do the math, that's how long we stayed. So that, so far, is that, let me see, okay, and a lot of booths were doing like really cute stuff, like, um, we went and, I think it's called, is it Herbert's Lemonade? Um, they had a cute little, like, claw machine game, oh, that was the other one that I was talking about. One of the, I think that was the cake. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, that's gonna bug me now, but I don't know. I think it was Coco and Eve that was doing a claw machine. So if you guys went to BeautyCon and you know, tell me in the comments down below, but I'm pretty sure they were doing a claw machine too. So Herbert Lemonade was doing a claw machine. They had 
you drink, you took a sample of their little lemonade, which come on, everybody loves lemonade. And then they give you a token and you go put it in the claw machine and you try to win something. So this is what we won. Um, that was in that one. Uh, this was from the main choice. They're giving out gummy bears and their booth was so, so cute. Um, they were doing like you went through their booth they and you looked at their products in the first room the second room was a picture opportunity the third room was buying your product and then the fourth room was the video the music video so but um they, they were giving out gummy bears because their products smell like gummy bears it's so so delicious like i wish i could eat some of the stuff that they <laughs> they produce but obviously that would be bad because it's for your hair so um that was from them i also was able to I also was able, is that even, is that what I'm trying to say? Um, some girl was just handing these out to me, the little um, hair ties, kindest hair ties from Beautycon, says their name on there. And then, let's see, there was a collagen booth, so they were handing out just their samples, and then they gave out pins. Um, I'm not really a person who does supplements, you know, but I was like, oh, why not? These pins are actually really, really cute. Skin snobs. And then that's the brand. Or maybe not. I don't know. Probably. Um, let's see what else is in this bag. This, this is just a bunch of pamphlets in here, I feel like, and just like random stuff. Like I got stickers in here. Um, got tattoos in here. Someone was doing tattoos. A pin. A pin. A lipstick pin. Yeah, and there's cute little tattoos from Lime Crime. Lime Crime was doing, um, obviously, I feel like Lime Crime kind of gives out stuff, not really. But in their booth, you had two sides. So the side that you buy stuff and then the side that is the game. And they had the little, um, oh, what do you call it? Like you throw those bean bags and you try to hit the bears down. So David was having so much fun. He's, I mean, he caught all three bears, but I mean, everybody got a tattoo. So <laughs> that was the that was the little prize in that one. So um that was that in this bag. I'm not gonna, I don't know if, I'm, if I missed anything in this bag. Oh well, but that was like all the miscellaneous stuff. And then let's see, what last bag. Okay, we are almost done you guys and it's been an hour. So if you've stayed with me until the very end, comment. Oh, I, gotta, I should make you guys comment something that's so funny because people will read. Um, comment. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, but <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Call it pop, pop, pop. Okay. So, um, anyways, so thank you for staying this long. If you are here at the very end and don't forget to, um, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, like the, um, like this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and try to Try to comment down below your best friend so you can enter the giveaway. I'm sorry, it's getting really late. I'm trying to do the, the rest of this. I'm at the last bag. So um, the cream shop was giving, like they did a will. So um, I think I got this one. I got the little silicone, whatever, blending sponge. David got a mask. And then impressions vanity. I feel like we were just standing there. Uh, I think we had to like share uh, oh, we shared a picture. That's right. So I did do a picture and then they gave away a cute little handheld mirror. So there's that. Um, let's see. Who else do we have? We have Elsie. Oh, Elsie was just giving this. So Elsie was in the Alta booth and they were just giving these away. So I was able to snag two because David was there. So that's the velvet sponge. Um, let's see. Who else was in their booth? Okay, yeah. So Zoeva is going to be at... Alta, and then they were giving away their um, their cute little lip stuff. So one was pale, and one was pale plethora, and faint of heart. So I think these ones are already on the site. And I got two more because David got it. Um, Kanuka was also part of Alta, so they were giving out their lip balm. And then who else was there? So, oh, this is from Koki. Never done, never tried them before, but she was just giving them out for free. And so I got two different palettes. One was, well, they're both blushers. One's a little bit on the darker side. One is more on the rosier side. And then Pop Beauty. Pop Beauty um, needed a photo option. I think I did post it. 
I'm pretty sure I posted the pictures on um, Instagram. And if you followed them and you posted a picture, you're able to get their free stuff. And Pop Beauty is by BeautyCon. So it's their new makeup line that they're trying to promote. And they gave away their lip liner. And then they gave away their Kajal pencils. That's how you say the word. Um, I think these are both in inky purple, inky purple. Oh, softy black. So they gave me three inky purples and one Sufi black, softy, sooty black. So there they are. And then let's see, who's the lip enhancers from City Colors? So City Color gave lip enhancers, lip pout enhancers. So that was that. That was, okay, the, all that. That was everything free, minus a couple items that I showed you that I bought from the booths that I was showing you that I got free stuff. But a lot of these are were full size products, um, so I like I was blown away. I'm just like, yes, I love. Who doesn't love free stuff? It was so much fun. The experience was fun. I wasn't there to go experience anything else but the experience of what BeautyCon was about. I wasn't trying to go there to meet somebody. Um, I know they had a lot of A-list or celebrities, which was really cool. They were in their different sections and they had the red carpet, but I was not there for that. I was, I saw stuff, you know, and like we walked by, but I was mostly there to see the brands and also get free stuff and play games. Cause you know, um, if you know me and David, we're both gamers. So that was really cool. So so let's just go over the price tag on all the stuff that I was able to grab. Um, from the stuff that I was able to grab, not counting doubles, my total came out to $931.49. $931.49 in product. And I also did um, the samples. So each sample was like 60 cents or 45 cents, whatever, whatever the original, like if the sample, if the original thing item was like 16 ounces, I did the math to divide it by and equal whatever it was for the ounce that we got. So anyways, so that was almost a thousand dollars worth of product that we got for free. So if you include the swag bag and you include this, you basically got $2,000 worth of products. Granted, it's not exactly what you want, but it is free products that you get to try out, that you get to test, you get to know about the brands, you get to experience the experience, do the pictures, play the games, talk to people who are in the makeup industry or the beauty industry, hair industry, whatever it was. So I feel like I definitely got my money's worth, which was about $200. I paid $250 per ticket for me and David. So that was... I feel like we got our money's worth. Like the experience alone was amazing. I know that there's a lot of other YouTubers out there that kind of had not the same experience, but this was my first beauty con. And just the fact that I was able to grab all this stuff was amazing. So um, that was that. Let me just show you what I got real quick. Just I'm just gonna show you a quick little haul of everything that I got, which is not a lot. Okay, so um, I went to the cream shop and I had to because I love Hello Kitty. They have the Kuropi face wipes. And I believe the face, another face, the cream shop is also, and um, they have some stuff on Ulta. So you can find some of this stuff on Ulta. And then I also got the little unicorn. They were doing like a lot of the stuff for like um, cheaper. And then they, I got a couple masks. And of course I had to get the little narwhal mask. Isn't that so cute? And then I got this one, which was so cute. And my melody. And then I think, oh, they gave this for free. And then on the back, you went kawaii because Hello Kitty was going to show up at one o'clock, but we had to take off on Sunday. And they also gave me some stickers, which I thought was really, really cute. And then the next thing that I bought, like I showed you, I showed you like I bought the gloss. Um, so I bought that. And then the other thing was the coffee thing, the coffee mug thing. And then I also went to this um, booth that was called, I think it's called Achi. Uh, Achi, this one. This booth right here, uh oh, <laughs> this booth. It, it was just this random booth that had a bunch of cute random things in it. So she, on a couple of their shelves, there's like three shelves on each side and she's like, you can choose three items from any shelf for 20 bucks. So I was like, yes, please, because they're so cute. So I got a couple pins. They're little mermaid pins. Aren't these the cutest thing? They're 14, retail 14 and nine at her, her shop, but. I got it for like six bucks and then I got little wine wine I don't know wine charms it, and it comes with like a little unicorn thing to hold your wine charms or wine wine charms so that is everything 
that I got at BeautyCon. Like, so experience wise, comparison to my other um, beauty convention, which was IMATS. IMATS was amazing in itself. It was my first ever makeup experience. And they, I feel like for them, they lean more towards the makeup professionals. So you can go buy stuff for your kit and have it at a more discounted rate. Um, for BeautyCon, I feel like it's about getting to know your brands and getting samples and just having a fun beauty event to be able to meet um, some celebrities to, you know, it was just about, I felt like it was more about like getting free stuff, taking your picture, doing fun stuff. And so at IMAX, you didn't really get free stuff. You did get a swag bag, but I don't know if they're going to start changing that because they just did the swag bag this year for IMAX. And I'm pretty sure they're going to do it again next year because it was a big hit and they gave away a lot of good products. Um, I did do a video on that. So if you guys want to check that out, check it out on my channel. But, um, yeah, so comparison though, like I felt like I definitely got my money's worth. So if you guys are going to go for products, definitely go to BeautyCon. I'm hoping that they're going to be doing the same thing by giving away free um, full size products, but I'm not too sure how it's going to go next year. It always, it you never know. I mean, uh, New York bombed this year, so LA was a hit because I think they're trying to apologize to the public and to the community. But um, other than that, I'm sorry, this video has been already um, an hour and 10 minutes long. So thank you so much for staying and watching this whole haul. I'm sorry it's so long, but I kind of like long hauls. And if you can stay with me, then you'll get to know me better. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to say good night. I love you guys or good morning and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I post this, but, um, yeah, so make sure you guys do the three, three steps to enter into the giveaway. Cause a lot of the stuff that you see, I'm going to be putting it into a giveaway for you and your best friend, but, um, good night and have a good night. <laughs> okay. Or whatever. <laughs>